Well, there are two main challenges. The first one was to quantify and investigate the importance of exclusive breastfeeding in the first six months of life to prevent infant mortality. And the second challenge was to understand how nutritional uh, status and nutritional interventions in the first two years of life uh, had in the long term, whether early malnutrition and breastfeeding affects adult health and chronic diseases. The body work that I'm being recognized for is my studies of infant mortality and breastfeeding carried out in the 1980s that show that exclusive breastfeeding was fundamental for preventing infant mortality and also the long-term birth cohort studies in which we are studying all children born in my city of Pelotas in Brazil for 30 years. We now know what are the influences of early nutrition, of breastfeeding, of low birth weight and other nutritional risk factors on long-term health and human capital. Our work was recognized in the early 90s with the recommendation for exclusive breastfeeding, that is just giving breast milk and no other type of fluid or food to children up to six months. That was recognized in the early 1990s by the World Health Organization and by UNICEF and is now common practice in pediatric societies around the world. The impact that I hope my research will continue to have in the future is to further promote optimal nutrition in the first two years of life as key elements for chronic disease prevention and for improving human capital in adulthood. <laughs>